So today, I want to talk about Minecraft terminology. Because as of late, I've been getting some interesting questions. Like, how do I install a mod for ModRymph? Or where can I download cracked Minecraft? And that question came from a player that already owns the game. There seems to be some confusion going around among players in the Minecraft and modding community. And to be fair, I can't blame them. There are some very strange terms we use in the Minecraft community. Things that literally make no sense, but we kind of just expect everyone to know what they mean. So today I want to go over some of those terms and explain what they actually mean. So first we got the name of the game. There is the game that is simply called Minecraft and then there is Minecraft Java Edition. The simply named Minecraft game we commonly refer to as Minecraft Bedrock Edition while Minecraft Java Edition we commonly just call Minecraft. This isn't strange though as it used to be like that before Mojang decided to change the name of both games. But okay, now we have Cracked Minecraft, a term that you hear a lot in the community. Some players also refer to it as free Minecraft, and it makes you think that there is actually a free or trial version of the game. There is, in fact, not. When players talk about cracked or free Minecraft, they talk about an illegal, pirated version of the game that a lot of people use. On that same note, when players say, do you have premium Minecraft, they also make it seem like Minecraft has some kind of deluxe edition, but no, they simply refer to the only legit version of the game, just Minecraft. But then we got cracked Minecraft servers. And you might think that because cracked Minecraft is a pirated version of the game, a cracked Minecraft server is a pirated version of a Minecraft Minecraft server. Well, again, no, it's not. A cracked Minecraft server refers to a regular Minecraft server that has online mode set to false. It is a setting that you can change in the server.properties file and it is originally meant for Minecraft networks. So if you have a network server, which means multiple servers linked together with a proxy, then you can turn online mode on false on all of your backend servers while keeping it untrue on your proxy. That way players don't have to authenticate at Mojang's servers every single time they switch a server. By the way, when I say backend Minecraft server, I refer to a regular Minecraft server that players actually play on. And when as a proxy, that is the server that links all of your backend servers together. Because of the proxy, switching between servers is possible. But then, let's talk about Minecraft modding. If you want to install a mod onto your Minecraft, you first have to install a mod loader. A mod loader is a loader for mods. And we have four very popular ones, Fabric, Forge, Neoforge and Quilt. All of these mod loaders work on both the game, which we call the client side, and on servers, which we call the server side. Now the modifications that you can load with a mod loader, we call mods. And while you might think to yourself, well Kasai, that's kinda obvious, we also have plugins. What is a Minecraft plugin then? A plugin is a server side exclusive Minecraft mod. So you might think, if there is a server side exclusive fabric mod, do we then call that a plugin? Well, no. <laughs> No, we don't. We still call that a mod, even though it is server-side exclusive. Not every single server-side mod is a plugin, but plugins are always server-side mods. If that confuses you, you are not alone. You might think it is easy to distinguish by mod loaders. If a modification is made for Forge, Fabric, Neoforge or Quilt, we call it a mod. And if a modification is made for Bucket, Spigot or Paper, we call it a plugin. But of course, that doesn't really work, because there are way more mod loaders besides these four and there are also way more server softwares except for these three. So when do we call it a plugin and when do we call it a mod then? I guess the easiest way to think about it is if you have a mod loader that can run on both the client side and the server side then the modifications for that mod loader we call those mods. And when there is only a modded server software with no client support at all then the modifications for those loaders we call them plugins. Now then we have ModRymph and CurseForge. And both of these are mod distribution platforms, which means you can go to them to get mods and plugins. They themselves are not mod loaders, just distribution platforms. And you might think, well that's confusing, because both of them do have a launcher. And yes, that is true, they do have a launcher, but through that launcher you can simply install mods and any of these mod loaders. They are just tools that make modding Minecraft easier, but they themselves are not mod loaders. So a mod for ModRymph doesn't exist. You can just get mods on ModRymph. And some of you watching this video might say, aren't the ModRymph and CurseForge app 
clients. No, they are not. There is a big difference between a client and a launcher. A Minecraft launcher, explained in the most simple way possible, is an application that you can use to start and manage your game. So it allows you to do things like installing new versions, switching accounts, changing your skins, and installing mods. A few examples of launchers are the ModRimf and CurseForge app, but also the Prism launcher, the AT launcher, the SK launcher, and many more. While a client, on the other hand, is an actual Minecraft game application that adds a whole bunch of extra features, like performance improvements, more in-game information, and other tools. Some popular examples of clients are Lunar, Bad Lion, and Feather. But the fact that any of these clients also come with their own launcher does for sure uh, blur the line a little bit between launchers and clients. But if you, for example, used both the AT launcher and the Lunar clients, you will know that they are very, very different from each other. So Cracked Minecraft is a pirated version of the game, while a Cracked server is a regular server with one different setting. A modification for Minecraft is called a mod, and a server-side exclusive mod is also called a mod. Unless the mod loader is not available for clients, then we call them a plugin. Always remember, not every server-side mod is a plugin, but plugins are always server-side mods. And launchers are applications that allow you to prepare the game for launch, while clients are a modded version of the game, which also come with their own custom launchers. And that is gonna be it for today. Do make sure to subscribe to my channel, join my Discord. Thank you so much, channel members. And then I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye, see you later. Bye-bye.